Here I've loaded a related CSV file to the one from the previous video. This one contains information about the, uh, the various indices from that file. So uh, as an example, uh, let's just look at it. This is a small enough data frame that I think I can display the whole thing without any problem. I guess I can display the first 10 rows, but it's a small data frame. It's 14 by four. And so for example, what I want to do is I want to display like the abbreviation HSI and then the full name Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So I need some way to iterate through all of these rows. And here's one way to do that. So I can say for I, in dfinfo.index. Okay, and let's just print i for now. Okay, so that, that goes through all 14 of the row names. And here the row name is the exact same as the position. Okay, but if I had something strange here, like it went 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, then another 3, then here it would show 0, 1, 2, 3, then another 3. So this isn't about the location. This is about the name of the row. Okay, good. And so instead of that, okay, in, instead of printing I, let's print, for example, df.loc I, and then let's print the abbreviation, which here we see has the column name index. And it's just a coincidence that this word index is the same as this word index, but they mean two totally different things, or they represent two totally different things. And so uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I, I do this often when I switch to a data frame that isn't with uh, my usual df uh, variable name. So I forgot to do df info. Okay, perfect. So. Here are the different abbreviations. And if I want to print the full name, and what was this called? This was called exchange. That's what this column was called. OK, good, but I'm definitely not using f strings here. So how can I do the same thing using f strings? Well. Let me write how about a brief for abbreviation equals and then this index value. And then let, let me write full. Sometimes it's dangerous to use such a common word here, but since this didn't change color, that's a sign that this isn't already something that's defined in Python. And so uh, let's just see if I've done this correctly. So let's try to print the abbreviation and the full name. Okay, looks exactly the same. So, so far, so good. And let's see, let me keep that. And now let me show you how we can do this using F strings. Can say something like print and then the way you know it's an F string is if there's an F before the quotation marks. Okay, and you can use either double or single quotation marks. That's fine. Then you can say uh, abbreviation for, and then notice how the variable name went inside of curly brackets here, is abbrev. Okay, and then let me delete that next part. So we get something like the abbreviation for Hong Kong Stock Exchange is HSI. Okay, great. That's exactly what I wanted. L let me show you maybe a slightly more sophisticated way to get this abbrev and full. So just as an example, if I do dfinfo.loc2, so uh, this gives me those two pieces of information I've been using and then also some other information. And if all I want are the index and the exchange, uh, let me do it wrong first. Okay, let me do index and then exchange. 
And I mean, you can kind of see why this is wrong. Like, how is Python going to know that this part is supposed to give me which row I want, and this part is supposed to give me which column I want? So, so how can I fix that? Well, I can put the column part or anything that has more than one, I can put that inside of square brackets. Okay, so uh, now this has the abbreviation and the full name. Okay, good. And, but eventually I want to have this abbreviate and full here. So uh, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use something called uh, tuple unpacking, I think is what it should be called in this case. So let me say abbreviate comma full equals. And then what this should do is it should take the zero thing and assign that to the variable name abrev. And the, the first, if we use the Python counting where it goes zero, one, take the one index thing and assign that to the variable name full. Let's see if that works. And let's check full. Okay, looks like that worked. So um, let me copy this. Or let's see, let me copy the for loop first. And let me get rid of these two lines. And let me replace them with this. And so, okay, well, that doesn't look very good. And what's the problem? Well, the problem is that I'm always using row two. So let's replace that with row I. Okay, and now this, gets me the exact same display as what I had up here. 